The chef's like a steering column. It is a welterweight matchup between Anderson the Spider Silva and Conor McGregor. All right, so here he is, DC, the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, former two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor. And a lot of people thought maybe he wouldn't come back to the proven ground. He's got a lot to prove when it comes to his MMA legacy, and as such, McGregor returns to the octagon here tonight. When you talk about Conor McGregor, you're talking about a star that transcends mixed martial arts. We've seen a lot of people come and go, but no one has ever reached the level of Conor McGregor. And you think he's just a talker. No, there is a ton of substance to everything that he does. From the moment he stepped into the octagon, he said what he was gonna do, and he eventually did it. From knocking guys out left and right to becoming a two division champion, knocked out Jose Aldo, knocked out Eddie Alvarez. There's just too much to say about the notorious. And I'm glad you put it that way because he is this larger than life character. And I think at times people lose sight of just how skilled a martial artist this is. Elite striker, tremendous distance management. Few move better on the feet than Conor McGregor. And he'll look to put those striking skills to good use yet again tonight as Conor McGregor returns. The former UFC middleweight champion, Anderson the Spider Silva, is set to make the walk here tonight. This is a man still getting it done in his mid-40s, DC. Proved in the Israel Adesanya fight that he could still hang in there over a hard 15 minutes with the best guys in the Anderson world. Silva is still able to compete even though he's up there in age a little bit. And that's because of his commitment to the sport of mixed martial arts. He loves competing. He loves the spotlight. Everything that you need to drive you to be able to stay active and stay relevant in this sport, Anderson Silva possesses. Every time he steps foot in the octagon, we get a chance to witness one of the greatest fighters of all time. And when DC needed an opponent for UFC 200 on about 24 hours notice, the greatest of all time was your Huckleberry. Not too bad. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Silva is 13 years the elder. He is five inches taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. The notorious Connor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world. Anderson, the Spider, Silva! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's going to be interesting to 
see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against the other guy who can really do it. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. McGregor advances and lands flush with the left hand. Lands that left hand. He's always looking to land that. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Left hand punches the clinch. Big body kick man. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. and it shows. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. More clinching. He's in close, so instead of punching, he's landing these nasty, vicious elbows. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anderson Silva. Went for the inside leg kick. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Still nice body kick there. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Whoa, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh! Huge kick to the body! Oh! How good is that right hand? Power the leg kick lands. Ten seconds! Beautiful punch. Second round, straight ahead. So a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Well, we'll see how it goes here in round two. Anderson Silva versus Conor McGregor. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, he lands a big left hand. What a body kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike oh. lands there. Oh, that diving punch landed. Nice hammer fist. How fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. It's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. So 39 total strikes have landed for Anderson the Spider Silver. And landing with 62% accuracy thus far against Conor McGregor. Well, anytime you are in a great
ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Silva's got his hand looking for a guillotine. Finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. <laughs> wow. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the... Over the top. This fight's going to be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up even high. He was going low. And now he got hurt very bad. 30 seconds to go in round two. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide. Oh! Oh, he's hurt, he's gone. oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at nine seconds of round number three. He's playing the winner by knockout, Anderson, the Spider! Silva! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.